The land is frozen, the land is bleak. All through the villages, there is nothing to eat. Nothing to be grown, it is up to the princes of platinum to parade. To travel upon the land and share with the masses. To have them hold their hopes to the skies, to pray to her beauty as she passes by. If they are lucky, she will show mercy, showering them with what is needed to survive. The guards will carry her through the snow, on her throne made of solid gold. It will serve as her carriage, silken curtains hiding her from sight. These are her windows, protecting from the cold of night. Her father has trusted her with enough to make fair judgment. Her name will be the beacon the ponies will need. Her mercy shall fill them with warmth, her generosity with hope. The winter might be long, but if all come together as one, then we shall all survive until the sun returns. Hunger grows, hunger pains. Hold your hopes and hooves to the skies. The princess shall aid you with treasure to survive. Hold your hopes to the skies. Princess Platinum is carried through the village upon her throne made of gold. It shimmers for miles through the dark winter night. Guards on every side of her royal carriage, never straying away from the palace in the distance, never gazing upon the vacant worn stairs of the town's ponies. They hold their hopes and hooves to the skies in prayer that the princess might show mercy. She is carried off towards the palace, her beacon of gold vanishing into the bitter night, the storm growing ever stronger in the bleak of night, the ice starting to form no matter how much they fight. A brother gazes down to his sister in shame, for tonight they will not eat. Nudging her towards a fallen shack within a bundle of warm hay is found. To keep her warm is his mission. To keep her safe is his priority. Mom and Dad trusted him with this. He will not fail her. He will not sway. This misery is life. It must be this way. Brother shivers in place within the cold winter snow. His sister far too weak to even budge from under the hay. Waiting in place, his eyes search for the golden beacon. Off in the distance it comes, shimmering ever brighter with cruel jewels. Slowly it appears as he holds his hooves and hopes to the skies, the carriage simply passing once more while fading within the growing storm. The brother hobbles back to his sister, who is still in a deep sleep. He will let her dream of better places and happier faces. When she awakes, he can then break her heart. This week shall let the hunger grow more, the ice of the storm encasing the walls, the ceiling, and even the soul. Numb with cold and pained by hunger, he tries himself to find a slumber. His mind on fire with worry, what will he do if the hunger grows? It is his burden. It is his life. The brother stands in the growing ice upon his hooves, the golden glow of excess upon his village in the distance. His sister shivers weakly under the hay, her breathing becoming shallow. It must be this week. It must be this day. The carriage is carried through the village, encrusted in new sapphire atop the roof. A small detail many would not notice, though he would. He always notices anything new, taunting and laughing its way across the land. Holding his hoofs to the sky, the carriage simply passes by. The brother grits his teeth and gathers snow. Through the sky it is thrown. Exploding into powder upon her carriage, it comes to a stop. Those cold, icy stares gaze onto him, each guard ready to strike. Yet the princess herself extends a hoof from the window, a single golden item held out. Brother hobbles and strains, reaching his hopes to the skies. The shimmering treasure pulled back in the carriage fading back into the darkness. 
the howl of laughter, or the merciless wind mocking him, for he could not tell which was which. He crawled back to the hay, his sister ready to fade away. Gazing upon her weakened frame, hunger growing, hunger pains. Grabbing a nearby sickle from the dark, he knows what must be done. Hunger growing, hunger pains. The carriage is being carried through the snow. The sky ever darker as the excess glows. Princess waves a hoof to the tired masses, each holding up their hooves for a chance at mercy. Though it is never a lot, she does toss a few gems. They fight over the treasure, for it is almost the end. The shack is dark, and the front is bare, no brother or sister standing on the lawn. The carriage comes to a stop in front of the home, the icy stare of the mare watching the darkness close. With a wave of a hoof, she tosses a bag of gold to her guard. He nods as the carriage fades into the darkness. Golden hoof, he walks to the shack. The sound of chewing, sending a shiver down his back. He pushes through the icy abyss, eyes searching for the sound that feels amiss. The hay before him has two ponies in it, the brother sitting up, back to the cold, his sister curled up in a ball near the floor. The sound of chewing becoming louder, the guard shaking as he enters the light, the sister gazing up from her curled up form, the stomach of her brother torn, her muzzle covered in crimson, eyes black with confusion and pain. The words of her brother echoing in her mind, the last thing he asked before this crime. The sister grabbing a piece of meat, placing it before the guard's feet. Share what you have, share what you eat. <laughs>